So obviously, you know, for a relief pitcher coming in the pitch clock, how does that change mentally the approach coming in a high leverage situation first batter? I mean, what what are some of the things you're trying to do in spring training to acclimate yourself yeah. to that? I think exposure for sure. Um, you know, having not seen it before, but I do work pretty quickly, so I, I'm not overly worried. But I agree with you that in high leverage stuff that we'll have to uh, there'll be some adjustments to be made. Um, so I think. You know, throughout spring training, getting getting the opportunity to see the 15 seconds, see the 19 seconds, get some guys on base, and all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be good. So, in the past, you say you work quickly. At, like, obviously, the sports is so analytic. Do you have like the data? Do you have the data? What, what your average? Yeah, you know, what, yeah. And I, I think out of the wind up, I was 16 or so, and in the stretch, I think it was 20-ish, you know, so right right in that real realm. Of, so I'll have to pick it up a little bit, but I think it starts, that clock starts from the time you catch the ball, from what I've heard. So um, I think small adjustments, I'll be okay. And my mind always works like the things that can go wrong. Obviously, with the pitch com, sometimes loud stadiums you can't hear. Sometimes pitchers and catchers aren't on the same page. You know, it's a limited sample here. How do you try to eliminate those road bumps before the season starts? Yeah, I mean, I think you just got to practice it. I agree with you that uh, the pitch comps, we figured out. I think they made big strides last year with that. Um, they had a new volume setting somewhere along the way, and hopefully it's a little bit smaller, not the entire size of your hat. But, um, no, overall, I think that uh, we'll iron some of that out in spring, and uh, this staff is as good as anybody from what I've seen the last couple of days of being thorough and, and seeing things through. So I, feel, I bet coming out of spring, we'll feel very comfortable doing it. One of the things last year that the pitching staff was known for was its collaborative nature. There was never an inning where the pitchers in the dugout weren't talking pitching. As a guy that now has the opportunity to be on the pitching staff with two future Hall of Famers, what are some of the things you're going to look to towards them to try and, and get for yourself? Yeah, I mean, I, at this stage of my career, I don't know if it's going to be grabbing stuff per se, but uh, just the knowledge of how they, they go about their business. I mean, they're the ultimate professionals. They're very great competitors. Um, I have played with JV a little bit with the Astros. Um, you know, just the presence they have. I think there's a lot to be taken from that. I think they're, they're going to be great leaders, great leaders on the staff, and they'll kind of guide this ship. So I'm um, looking forward to them getting out there and doing their thing.